everybody before we get this video going i wanted to say this video is in collaboration with kimmy coop i believe that's how you say her last name i wanted to say thank you so much to her and thank you for everything that she has done for me she's an amazing amazing woman and she has not only helped me out but she has been a friend to me as to where a lot of people haven't and i'm so grateful for that she is such a sweetheart and this video is in collaboration with her like i said so i'm so grateful to be doing this if you are from my channel be sure to check out the link in the bottom um, that is a link to her channel go and like and subscribe to her channel and her videos they're amazing i love all the stuff that she's been doing lately and and if you came over from Kimmy's channel, I am so happy to have you here. I hope you like and subscribe to my channel as well. I always have so many videos coming out. So we are just a basic random family and we're here to just show our story. But uh, this video is going to be within a week's worth. It's gonna be a couple days spread out. I will let you know in the timestamps, but we do have a lot going on because we are renovating, not renovating, but redoing a lot of rooms in our home. So again, I am so grateful to have you and let's just jump into this. Again, if you're from my channel, be sure to go to Kimmy's channel and the link just in the link is in the description below. And if you're from Kimmy's channel, thank you guys so much for coming over and checking out my channel. And I'm so grateful for you guys. Again, thank you, Kimmy. It is a bit overcast outside right now. So I figured it's not super hot. It is a good time to come out and get my garden started. If you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss anything. I am coming out right now to work on this garden because it has been well overdue. I used to grow every kind of vegetable you could think of, jalapenos, um, tomatoes, uh, everything. Um, but I have not been able to get out here. So let me show you guys what I'm gonna do and we will get started. So as you guys can see, I have a jungle here, literally a jungle. This is kind of like the neighbor's side where like this breaks off. And then this is somewhat my side. It used to look so much better, <laughs> but to tear pretty much all of this out, I did get some stuff like gloves and stuff from the store in here in this bag and then I have my potatoes that I'm letting like bust right now um, is what I was told they were called the neighbor had some has some strawberry plants not had has so she let me pluck a couple little with like roots and whatnot I got some basil right there and then Here's my strawberry pot. Like I said, it looks like a jungle. This is just garbage. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this started and I'm gonna clean this up. So let's just go ahead and get this going. First and foremost, who's starting a garden this season? Because I know that I am not the only one who is starting a garden. I have seen so many people starting a garden on YouTube right now. They are getting their homes all nice and pretty, you know, being spring. They want to make sure it's all spring cleaned up. So what I'm doing here is I am just removing all of the flowers and the, you know, succulents that I have. I mainly just have succulents and weeds, uh, <laughs> but, you know, I want to remove all of them. Alright, so what I'm discovering so far is this plant completely grew roots the last two years. I've got my Crocs on and I'm getting dirt all in them. But it completely grew roots all inside of the ground and I am trying to pull them all up because I definitely don't want this plant to come back. Um, but as you can see, they are huge and it's driving me crazy. So I'm gonna continue to pull, you can see what I've done so far. I'm gonna continue to pull this all out. Hi baby, she just woke up. Um, whew, this has been a task in itself. So let me get this finished. 
we're going to continue to pull these and pull these and pull these as you can see but what i noticed is that they grow crazy underground they're beautiful when i got them it was so so tiny i snipped off like one of the neighbor's plants and it was so tiny but i finally ended up getting it all out of there i wanted to try and pull as many other roots as i possibly could because i did not want it to come back through like my vegetables garden and you know whatnot but i definitely wanted to keep as much soil as i could in the ground because i did have some soil there so i'm trying to get all the big pieces out right now and then after i do that you can see i'm trying to there's like rocks and stuff in here look at that i just pulled another one out they are crazy but let's just get them all out of here and done with so I wanted to show you guys what I have going here. So I have some old coffee grounds here and I have some eggs in here and I am smashing that up. And then I have a banana peel with some sweet potato peels in here that have been soaking for about a week now and I'm gonna use the liquid of that. And then I'm gonna sprinkle this inside of my soil. Um, Eggshells really, really help with like, Compost really helps with vegetables and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to finish smashing this up and then we're gonna put it in our soil. We're gonna just kind of sprinkle it in there and hopefully enrich our soil. So after I got it all raked down and took as many weeds as I could out, I wanted to make sure I got two of the big, super big bags of the garden soil for vegetables. I wanted to make sure to get that all put in there and then I rehydrated it because it was pretty dry. So I raked it all out flat and I got it looking super spiffy and <laughs> um, I just wanted to make it even. I wanted to get enough soil so that way we can make some lines and plant all of the veggies and whatnot. And um, what I'm gonna show you here is I took my compost and I crunched it up as best as I could, as you can see. And I wanted every little bit of it because I wanted to give as much nutrients as I possibly could to the soil. Um, so then I'm just sprinkling it over. If you have chickens, so one rule of thumb is I've had chickens. I grew up on a farm. You want to take the egg yolks out of your chicken eggs. And if you blend up your eggshells, and then you it's until it's like a powder and you put it in the chicken food it's actually really really good for them i know it sounds awkward that they're like basically eating their own eggs but the vitamins and minerals and everything else that are in there are very very good for yeah. the chickens themselves i'm just showing you here that we are taking the seeds packets and we are going to put them in the ground you make a line and then you sprinkle them in there and um, it looks really Come cute. All right, she is finished. So we have tomatoes in these first four rows, like three rows. There's really four rows, but it is three poles. And then we have um, bell peppers, we have spinach, we have carrots, and then we have, um, what do we have over here? Ah, onions the like the long onions so that is all done I got that all cleaned up over there she looks really really pretty I'm very very happy and yeah It is the next morning and I still have a runny nose and my allergies are still driving me crazy. But I wanted to show you guys everything that we did last night because last night it was super dark outside and you really couldn't see. So let me show you what we did. We ended up putting all of these together and just sticking them right here. And don't mind me, I have pumpkin bread in my mouth. <laughs> I did peppermint, dill, cilantro, thyme, parsley blue flowers blue flowers white white and white so we went ahead and we did all of those and i love it i can't wait for them to start blooming and growing now 
My strawberries aren't doing very good over here, as you can see. Not everything's a winner. We replanted these, and yeah, they didn't get going really good. My basil still has some stuff on it. They're a little not as healthy, but these ones are pretty healthy, so I'm okay with those ones. Potatoes are being planted today. We have some buds on, on my tomato plant. And then this is the greenhouse that we did. Hopefully this will start to heat up and it will start to go good. I'm really excited about that. And we don't really have, like I said, we don't have anything down here yet. That's gonna take some, some days, but I'm super excited about the outcome. I gotta change out my rug and I need to put up my 4th of July decorations. But as of right now, it looks really, really good. Hey guys, okay, so we need to get the refrigerator cleaned. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. <laughs> um, it's not super, super dirty, but I always have a lot of condiments inside of my refrigerator. And excuse the glare, I have my lights in the kitchen and everything on, so bear with me. But it needs to be wiped down. The other day, Izzy came in and she cleaned out all the old food and I'm like, no, wait, I'm gonna do a video on that. So she cleaned out all the old food and I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna get it cleaned up. So let's get this cleaned out and let's just get started. Let's just start by removing everything so that way we can wash everything down after we remove it. Um, I broke my th my fridge a while back. Um, well, okay, te technically I didn't mean to break it. It's a long story. <laughs> um, we had a couple things spill in the fridge, but like I said, I am a condiment person because I cook a lot of homemade food. So I like to have a lot of condiments inside of my refrigerator. Well, some of them decided to spill over, as you can see. So it wasn't very cute. It was actually gross. I didn't like cleaning it, but hey. Oh, found a Reese's. I don't like those though those are my hubbies he likes the white chocolate i don't care for white chocolate guys let's take a poll who likes white chocolate let me know down below i am not a white chocolate fan um i always joke and i always tell my honey because he's a black man i always say hey babe your favorite kind of chocolate's white chocolate huh and he's like yeah it is i'm like i know that's why you're with me <laughs> but it's like an inside joke that we have with each other and he's like well you like the regular chocolate and that's why you're with me I'm like yeah of course totally yeah sure whatever you say <laughs> but I um I had some stuff spill so I'm just scraping it up I just recently got this scrub daddy um brush and I kind of like it um I'm still working on it I'm not used to it Right, guys so I wanted to show you that we were all finished and I ended up getting one, uh, two of these little turny things here and I I don't know how I feel about it yet we will check on it um, we'll see I already have something that fell back there <laughs> but we got the rest of the refrigerator this is my egg container and I got my cheese drawer and then I did put the other one down here just because this is more so of a little hideaway spot and then I have the veggies there I do have don't mind that bell still working back there on cleaning stuff up <laughs> but I do have everything here this is all done cleaned all my bottles are labeled and everything so now to tackle this so much fun so much fun but I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow so these will be filled with milk and then um, juice so yep but we are completely done I forgot that I had some fruits that I had just bought, so I wanted to make sure to get them all washed up. What is your guys' favorite um, cleaning stuff for your guys' fruits? Um, I would love to know what you guys clean your fruits with. I know some people are like, oh, vinegar and baking soda and this and that. Um, 
So let me know, what do you guys clean yours with? I do like to try and wash all of mine, but you know, sometimes I don't really get the chance. I am a grape fanatic though. I will eat grapes all day, every day. So the blueberries are for the baby and the strawberries are for the baby, but the grapes are for me. <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure that I got all these all washed up and I'm gonna give you a slow motion, slow motion for me, slow motion for me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but I did want to get these all washed up so that way I can put them into some containers. So it's just easy for the kids to grab and that way I know they will grab them. And I did stick a paper towel on the bottom of there just to keep the moisture out. So yeah, now we're going to make our way to the next day and we are moving into the bedroom because like I said, we have been redoing the bedroom and I'm going to have a very full video coming out. So don't miss it. Um, but we're going to put up the TV right now on our wall. We had a big dresser in our room and it was kind of outdated. So I said, Babe, I want this big dresser and mirror out of the room. There's not enough room in here. Please get it out. So what does he do? He does what I ask him. So he got it all put up nicely. Yes, I did a change, you know, in my shirt. I was hot. It has been, this weather has been absolutely insane. So I'm over here pretending like I'm helping, but really I'm just like not <laughs> I'm just not <laughs> but he does amazing he really did an amazing job and I'm just over here bugging him and he's like babe why are you asking so many questions I just wanted to bug him so he got the tv up and then oh Wait, look, no, no, no look at the side oh she got it get it girl <laughs> I noticed that when I was editing my video and I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. Her and the baby are in there dancing. He did a beautiful job at hiding the wires. I wanted to show you guys. It's not a beautiful job, it's an okay job. Okay, to him, it's an okay job. We have some stuff in the hallway, but if you can see, he did some zip ties, but we have like a crease in the window, right? I mean, in the wall right here. It's just how it is. And so he did an incredible job. Thank you. Um, but it looks amazing. I'm super, super proud of him. He did. Whoa, that shot. <laughs> But it looks great and now we have our TV on the wall and I think it looks really really good. I'm very proud of you, babe. It looks okay. <laughs> Take the compliment. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to say thank you so much for joining in on my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, go to Kimmy's channel if you are from mine and like and subscribe to her channel as well. Thank you guys so, so very much. And I can't wait to make more videos and have more friends out there because I'm just so excited. I'm so excited.